Hello and welcome. My name is Amurli and you are watching Ease Coding. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install, install Drush on your Drupal project. Okay, so this is Drupal 10 and I have installed it on my system. This is Ubuntu and I also have Composer installed. So let me quickly show you what all I have. First of all, PHP. 8.1.2 Composer 2.6.3 and these two things are already on my system. So once you have Composer installed, you can go ahead and install Drush with Composer. The other thing that you must try to do should not be try to install Composer globally because that is not available anymore. So each first has to be installed within that uh, Drupal directory. So to do so, you simply navigate to the Drupal folder wherever you have Drupal installed on your system, and this should work on any operating system. Now, so once you have that, simply go ahead and say Composer require brush brush okay that's all you have to do and hit enter it is not writable so on my system it's been already installed but it is not writable in this particular folder so You can see I already have Drush installed within this directory, within this project, okay? Uh, but you won't be able to run Drush this, this way. What I have done, I have created an alias on my system. So you can go ahead and check. I can show you the with this command so I put this in bash rc command you can see so there's some alias you can see there is a rush alias so you'll have to run this command basically vendor rush 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 you can see these commands so or you can put this alias within your bash.rc file and then you can run drush just by typing drush okay. so that's all you have to do make sure you got composer installed and then this command must you must run within the this uh, Drupal installation directory, project directory, root directory. And this is all my desktop basically. And now you can run this vendor brush brush and one more time. If you do not like to type like me. You can simply simply create an alias on your bash.rc file and this should work. Alright, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, so you should leave in the comments. Bye for now.